ISIS is utilizing social media, is, is utilizing the internet to spread propaganda, to recruit. We had the debate and we had someone like Donald Trump saying, well, one solution uh, would be to shut down parts of the internet. Uh, what's your response to a proposal like that? I think technically it's, it's possible, either with a technical you know, way to shut areas of the internet down in Iraq and Syria, or of course you can just like cut fiber optic lines and blow up cell towers. But I think it makes no sense because I think Donald Trump said, on the other hand, we need to penetrate the internet and find ISIS. So if you disconnect them from the internet, how do you do, how do you, how do you then find them using the internet? We have all these politicians giving all these proposals to the technological solutions uh, to ISIS uh, recruiting online. What solutions do you think we should be talking about? Well, you know, if you're recruiting online, you're, you're using some of the public services that are out there for everyone to use. Message boards, social media, and so, there's no reason that those things can't be uh, monitored and, and infiltrated. I mean, marketers are doing it constantly. You know, I would say, you know, use those tools to try to, to try to find the people who might be ISIS sympathizers or radical people who could be radicalized. There's an actual kind of law that says Facebook has to hand over, you know, the data it finds on child pornography uh, to the government. Uh, Mick, Nick, do we need something similar when it comes to uh, terrorism data. Um, it, it's a tough challenge, though. I mean, the the other side of this is you're sort of turning these service providers into law enforcement, where they 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 have to police um, the the internet. And it, you know, is that their job? Is that a responsibility they have for having a communication service? I don't know the, the answer, but that's sort of the question I think for policymakers. What are we not talking about that we should be talking about when it pertains to to kind of this intersection of technology and terrorism? I'm concerned that um, you know, with our culture of of innovation. Um, that we're building really powerful technologies that empower individuals and groups without really thinking about the, the consequences. You know, I look at things like, you know, driverless cars and driverless trucks and can think, wow, that would make a really scary uh, car bomb or, or, or truck bomb. It's great stuff. It's powerful stuff. I'm all for innovation. But sometimes I think we should slow down a little bit and, and think of the, uh, the repercussions of, of the technology um, that we're putting out there and seeing if we can do it in a safer way.